Okay, so the, the first phone call was yesterday, it was, well, it was actually a conversation, and it was early in the morning. I said, look, we have a, we have a document, um, and I'd like you to explain it. That was effectively the first conversation that took place, actually between my chief of staff and him, but that's effectively it. Um, then what happened was, uh, I didn't have any conversations with him until about six o'clock in the evening. At that point, he came up and said, I've reflected on what's happened, um, I believe I'm honest and upfront, but I think I should offer my resignation. Um, and I think uh, the Auditor General should have a look at my accounts to prove that I'm honest and upfront. Um, I may have made some untidy, careless errors because I didn't understand the rules, but I, I'm not a system, I haven't undertaken a systematic attempt to rule the taxpayer of New Zealand. It was at that point that I said to him, look, I don't think you should resign. I think you should stand, stand aside. Now, there was a bit of conversation that went to, to and fro, um, and eventually I said to him you know, later in the evening, look, I really think you should go home, sleep on that. And, and take your course of action. In the end, I'll accept what you want to do. In the morning, he rang me and said, look, I've slept on it. I want the Auditor General to come in, but I do want to resign. At which point I've said to him, yep, I accept that. Um, I'm still going to get uh, the Auditor General's report. And when the Auditor General report comes back, at that point, I'll reflect on it. Um, but I'm not closing the door to him going back. Uh, it's possible.